I'm Adam Moss, and this is Moss Models. Welcome back. Uh, pardon my voice, I got a post-infectious cough, so I'm going to have a little bit of a weird voice in the next few videos, um, just because I'm well, but I got a cough that's going to hang around for the next two to six weeks. Um, that said, today we're going to take a look at something I know a lot of folks have uh, been asking for for a while. And I literally realized about 15 minutes ago was possible under the last few re releases of Ethos, and I had not even noticed. And that is adding a trimmer to a Freemix. This is critical for being able to use a Freemix as you would normally expect. Now, there's a couple of caveats here. It's not perfect. Um, it's not because a normal trimmer only really affects the central range, doesn't shift the endpoints, and this will shift the endpoints. Now, we've got, uh, and I'm just gonna show, I'm gonna start off by showing this to you. So, we have, well, let's go back, mixer, I forgot to pick an output channel. On this mixer, so we'll go set this one up for channel six. And it's literally just called Freemix. So let's go to Outputs. And let's go take a nice close look at Channel 6. See that? That is me using, you can see, I'm just clicking uh, T6 here. And by the way, this is the channel input here. There's only one mix in that channel. So you can, you can see, as you can see there, we're trimming it. And there's nothing but a free mix. Now, how'd we get there? Let's go over to mixers. Free mix. Go into edit. And you can see you've got, uh, okay, so let me just get that out there. Adjust this a little bit so it's a little bit more legible. Okay. And I'm just going to dial in a touch of um okay, so that should be a little bit more legible. So you notice I got a free mix. It's called free mix, I didn't bother changing the name. It's always on, source is slider right, function type is add. But offset, you see T6. You can see there, and I'm just clicking T6 up, T6 down. The, um, the increments are controlled in the trimmer, in the trims uh, menu. What I did here, very, very simply, let's go back to convert to a value. This is the normal offset you'd see. You got a value of 0%. And you got the little hamburger. The hamburger is newish, to, uh, and this is the key piece. So what you need to do to add a trimmer here is just long press, pick use the source, go to trims, pick your trimmer. Voila, you got a trimmable Freemix. Now the real question here is what do you do about the endpoints? Because you'll notice I'm just going to, let's zoom in on that graph, and that'll show you exactly what's happening here. See how you got your top points at plus 100, your bottom points at one, minus 100, and your zero. When I trim, and I'm clicking down on the trimmer, it offsets everything down. So you're basically run, going to run into some clipping. That's inevitable, unfortunately, for how this works. Um, and it's not likely to change in 1.5 because this is really the answer in 1.5 to trimming remixes at this time. We may look in the future state, uh, and the, tr the entire trims implementation is getting a, a refresh in 1.5. It's not in the night lease yet, uh, but it should be in the next couple of weeks. Um, but with that limitation, like I said, 
you've now got a trim in your Freemix. It does cost you your offset, but at the end of the day, if you need to dial an offset and a trim into the Freemix, just use the trim for that. Dial in the trim, start the trim off where you want your offset. Or if you really want the, the two of them together, use set another Freemix, use trimmer as a source, use um, an offset to dial in that offset, and then use the output of that as your source for the offset in your court, uh, free mix. You can change for mixes all you want and do some incredible stuff there. But here you go, trim in a free mix the easy way. Not perfect, but very usable. And you can use that if you want all, if you want to build your own custom surface mixes, this is a great way to do it.